Hey everyone, welcome back. Our last guest began her formal training at the one and only Ballet Hispanico of New York. And through her dance career, she's been able to perform at prestigious flamenco festivals and throughout the world, along with on Broadway as a flamenco star in river dance. She's a Brio, a two-time Brio award recipient and has been featured in Dance Magazine. Oh my gosh, I'm stumbling. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get it right this time. Hey everyone, welcome back. Our last guest began her formal training at the one and only Ballet Hispanico of New York. And through her dance career, she's been able to perform at prestigious flamenco festivals and throughout the world and on Broadway as a flamenco star in River Dance. She's a two-time Brio Award recipient and has, and has been featured in Dance Magazine's 25 to Watch. In summer of 2021, she will be seen in the Warner Brothers film adaptation of Lin Manuel Miranda's In the Heights. Joining us to tell us more, we welcome Nelida Tirado. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Pleasure meeting you. <laughs> oh, well, it's nice to have you here with us virtually. Um, that was quite the, the grand introduction. I mean, um, there's more to you than everything we mentioned. However, I thought it was important that uh, we introduce you to our viewers as a person who's uh, pretty well versed in the art of flamenco, um, both here and abroad. Uh, so thank you for being here with us. And uh, I'm really looking forward to digging into your, your choice of, of dance and why you chose to become a flamenco dancer, right? So first I'm gonna ask you, are you Spaniard? Are you from Spain? No. So why flamenco dance? Oh, flamenco. Flamenco is, I think for me, a dance that's always spoken to me ever since I came across it. So I came across it actually accidentally. Um, my mom wanted me years ago to, she wanted to keep me connected to my roots and she was in search of bomba en plena classes uh during a time where either she couldn't find it or it just really didn't even exist uh in in the bronx right she signed me up at a local school that was not far from my house she was able to bring me back and forth and they had a small little program that had classical ballet and they had spanish dance slash flamenco and that ended up being a small workshop of uh ballet hispanico I stayed there and then I ended up going to the bigger school uh, two years later. But it was by fluke. It's something that I've, I know, I love. No, I'm just, I'm taking it in because you're saying it's by fluke, but yeah, it could be very well your genes calling you, right? Because it is part of your DNA. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm saying part of your DNA because um, you said on my plan, so I'm gonna assume you're referring to yourself as Puerto Rican which, you know, we consist of being African, indigenous, and Spaniard. And so, you know, that there's that part of us that we can't deny. Absolutely. It's definitely in the genes, it's in the history, and it's something that's always connected. I've been, always felt very connected to it, besides the fact that I love all of the percussive aspect to it and the ability to be able to play with sound and be an integral part of the music that's happening. It's very different from other types of dance that I've, that I've studied. Um, and it's something that I fully, like, it fully fills me. So I just kept remain connected to that. Right, I get it. And so um, I understand that you and I are, are, have uh, something in common. And, and, and I would say that's be bad girls. Yes. <laughs> bad girls. And of course, I'm referring to bad, the establishment. Um, I, I understand you won the 2017 Rosario da Dawson Muse Fellow from bad. So yes. what, what, what has that been like working with bad? That would be the Bronx Academy of Arts and Dance people, in case you're wondering. Now, no, that is a really special, special place to me uh, for a million reasons. But the first one, well, the first couple, <laughs> I don't even know how, if I can say it all. The first couple is that it's a place that's close to me, um, a place that 
you go it's been I, I refer to it as my sanctuary so when I go I'm in my little zone um, it's always such a joy to walk into the space and to deal with Arthur and every anyone else that's in the building um, they're super pro arts work with so much integrity like I really I love the place it's close to me it's in the Bronx and um, that experience was amazing that was really amazing and so thank you for sharing that because uh, the reason I brought it up is because as I mentioned and I introduced you, you, you travel abroad and you perform, um, but how has it been for you lately? I mean, what, what has your life become um, based on this, you know, stay at home order or the limited, uh, you know, access to people, venues? What, what's that been like for you? I think it's, I think we're all sharing the same, it's almost like a, uh, a certain uh, grief in a way I feel like um, but it's like the grief like the loss of like maybe your freedom it feels like for me the loss of my freedom and the loss of my um, expression so yeah dancing is the way that I've made my living always but it's been something that I needed to do and I've not only wanted to do but i really needed to do i needed to be i need to be creative and my type of dance requires me to be loud <laughs> right yeah because you you actually are almost an instrument as well i mean we the body itself is is your instrument but the sound that you make is it's an accompaniment to whatever music is being played right absolutely and it's also a form that relies on that has a that relies on a social aspect so you need your counter your counterparts you need the uh, the other instruments with you to be able to take part in this play that you do and this interaction with the singing and with the guitarists and the other dancers that this hasn't it hasn't been possible right now it's been hot it's been tough <laughs> we can't say not possible because you're going to be presenting a little something for us uh after this interview so uh we're grateful to you for presenting for us and also hopefully it serves as a means of therapy for you to basically get out to your noise making style of dance <laughs> for sure me voy a curar <laughs> To it. Thank you for being here with us. Nelly da Tirado, you guys. Flamenco, danza, Nelly da. And so, guess what? We're going to take a quick break, but then when we return, Nelly da Tirado is going to perform a flamenco dance. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 